Welcome to Lake Havasu, Arizona, the home of spring break, good times, and great skateboarding. Because today, it's the site of the 2021 SLS Championship Tour Men's Finals. And the top eight skaters of the weekend are on the course, trying to make their case for a trip to the Super Crown Final next month in Jacksonville, Florida. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Next skater in from Brazil. Talk about somebody who can spin, spin tricks around and then reverse them on the landing. Lucas Ribello. Here we go. Oh! Nolly cab to no slide. Wow. That's the kind of stuff that we need to see. That's how you're going to compete with, the, with the, the everything that Nigel Houston can bring out. Pull out tricks that nobody else does. The last time I saw anybody do that in SLS is Uto. Right? Like, that's at Uto level. That is a serious trick. That's going to be a great score. The nine. Lucas Rebello is in the nine club with a 9.0. Alex Midler coming in. Currently sitting in fourth place. That's good enough to go to the super final if it were to end right now. It's not over. Plenty of skateboarding still to come. This is his second single trick attempt. Yes, Caballero backside tail slide fakie. Alex Midler showing those big tricks. Take a look at the visible replay on this one. Locked and spinning around into the backside tail slide, comes out fakey. Very cleanly executed and locked into the backside tail slide. Good hype on that one, good stoke, crowd loved it. So the, the stoke level, Jeff, is rising here. Everybody is putting down trick after trick. Yeah, so the top four skaters move on to the super final where they, they get an additional two tricks. Mickey Papa coming in in fourth place. Oh, it's Nolly Hill for front side board slide. The level of these tricks is just stepping up and up and up. That was Nolly. <laughs> unbelievable. Mickey Papa. He got a 5-8 in the run. He got a 7-8 on his last try. And now this. Nolly Heel, front board. Perfect. And we talked, we've been talking all weekend about how long those blue rails are. And to do that trick, you've got to get over the rail. So he has to go further over it because it's a wide rail, right? A lot more room for error. That's a gnarly trick. 8.7. Excellent. For Mickey Papa. Mickey Papa, new leader. Three solid scores posted with two tries still to go. He's put himself in a great spot. On deck, Olympics, Olympic bron bronze medalist. He got us a, a wild card spot in here from Tampa Pro two weeks ago. It's Jagger Eaton. This is a guy I wanted to watch here in the finals today. I just think he can bring something a little bit different. Kickflip backside lip slide. As well as those kind of rail tricks like that kickflip back lip that are fairly staple for most guys. He's so well rounded, but the thing is, he's just unbelievably consistent. He is gonna make all his tricks. And he's a contest attacker. He's won contests before. He knows exactly what it's like. He knows how to play the game, can handle the pressure. And he's showing it right now, putting together an excellent line. Nice blunt kickflip. Solid pump to get the speed for the hobo. The rail, switch, 180 nose grind. Oh man, that was that was a big, perfect run. That was something else. Local boy bringing it right here in the desert. The dry heat means nothing to this guy. He loves it. You called it at the top of the show, Jeff. And there's that beautiful view of Lake Havasu in the background. Backside nose blunt, setting up for that kickflip backside lip slide. Those are two tricks to put back to back that are gonna be tough. And look at that. Back, backside 180 nose grind, there's that final trick. Switch yeah, 180 nose grind. And let's see how the judges mark that. I think they're gonna be feeling it. Oh! Hey now, nine club! Nine club! Way to bring that desert heat, Jagger Eaton. It's adding to it. First nine of the day. Jagger Eaton in next, he's in seventh. 
coming off of a fall, but he's got that nine from the run section. He just needs to take advantage of it with some makes here. Oh, there you go. Wow. <laughs> Did you see that? Kickflip 180 fakie nose grind? That's not a trick that you see somebody just throw out there down a hubber or anything like that. It's a, the precision involved in flicking and landing on that front truck like that backwards every go. Some yeah. special skill, special ball control to be able to do that. Jagger Eaton stepping it up. So, sitting on the nine from the run section, adding an 8.7, bumping up into fifth place, just outside that four cut to the super final. Felipe Gustavo in next, in seventh place. He has two scores posted. Anything he does right now is gonna help, but a 7.2 is gonna move him up into the top four. Oh! Oh my he does goodness! It. <laughs> he was fighting the landing, he, uncharacteristically. He stomped right into that nose grind and then was forced to deal with the absolute explosion that came with that. Look how locked in, boom, just hangs in there. Beautiful. And yet at the same time, he did it with a lot of speed, a lot of control, perfectly balanced, no real sketch. That's speed wobbles is what that is. <laughs> or wheel bite wobbles. All right, 7.2 gets it done. Let's see if there's any points docked for the sketch? If he gets full credit. Nine, nine club. club. Nine club. <laughs> nine well club. Yes. New leader, Felipe Gustavo. Overall score, yeah. 24.2. Great to see. That's the kind of skateboard we want to see in the finals here today. Rip Roaring. He can do he can get an 8.6 quick though. Oh, he has the tricks, man. He has the moves, that's for sure. He has the consistency, too, to do it. One of the nicest people that you will meet, Felipe Gustavo. Radical human being. Oh! Wow, that was tight. That was locked and tight. He did that like he did on a flat ground ledge. Wow, listen. Here's that visible replay coming up. Switch kick flip to tail slide. Bolts. Wow. It doesn't get any cleaner than that or any smoother. Look at that. No shake, no foot movement, and a good big roar. <laughs> Stoke him out. Let's see what the judge is thinking. Nine club. Oh, yes. Nine even for That's Felipe it. Gustavo. That moves Felipe into second place. All right, back to the top of the order. Final attempts here in the single trick section. Deshaun Jordan, he's in third, he wants more. Oh! Are you kidding me, Jeff? Oh my God! Talk about that. I don't know, there was spinning, there was flipping, there was <laughs> rail sliding. That's a bigger flip to front side board slide down the bigger hover rail, which is wide, it's fat. It's not forgiving when you land in a board slide more than a 50-50, and you'll see that here. Look at that spin and flip, and he has to push it out. There's that much like resistance for it to slide. Watch the when he lands in it. Doesn't want to slide on him. It's like, nope, yeah. you're going to stick. And he has to push down. <sighs> That's going to be huge. And just so you at home know, Jeff literally jumped out of his chair for that one. So, feeling it. That's the here. heaviest trick that we've seen so far today. Needs a 9.4 to move into the lead. It's gonna be a 9.1. 9.1. Moves into second place. Huge move for Deshaun Jordan. There's another look, that straight look, so you can see that full 360 flip over rotate in the front side board slide. A lot of moves going on there. <laughs> that was that was incredible. Deshaun Jordan. Last try. Needs a 9.9 .9 for first place. He's in third. Get it, Deshaun. Get him. He could catch Felipe Gustavo. Can he catch Nigel? Oh, he sticks it. <laughs> wow. I, he did not. I did not see him even try that in practice. Even look at it. Nolly inward heel front board. He popped it, he caught it about a foot above the ledge, above the hubba. 
Look at that. That score is going to be huge, Jeff. A 9.9 .9 gives him the win. <laughs> That's going to be a tough cookie to get 9.9 .9 anytime. <laughs> But still, regardless, top-level world-class skateboarding from Deshaun Jordan, gnarly tricks. So the crowd went wild. He's from Phoenix, Arizona. Is Felipe Gustavo safe in second place? Felipe has, Felipe has one third-place finish in his past. Deshaun has one win in his past. Will he get another one? Will it be a 9-9? Oh, it's in the nightclub, 9.3. Deshaun Jordan moves into second place. The six-time SLS world champion, Nigel Houston, skating for Monster Energy, coming off a second-place finish in Salt Lake City, and he was not okay with it. Oh, he looked very strong, too, as well, Paul. I mean, we've been watching Nigel warm up and try to get into the finals for many years now, and... At that last event, I thought he looked really on point. He looked like he kind of cleaned things up a little bit and was very focused, and that's why he got second place, and he's coming into this one looking very strong with a great line so far. Truly, and, and in the prelims yesterday, he, he qualified first. It looked pretty easy for him. He kind of just cruised through to first place. Look at that 360 flip. And once it goes to the single tricks, it's hard for anybody to compete with Niger. He has those tricks that are just you just need that level of board control that very few have. The average for Nige is above everyone else like that. Wow on that one. 180 backside nose grind. That was the second perfect run we've seen here in the final. Jagger got a nine for his. Any predictions or are we just gonna wait and see what happens? Those poor judges, look at this <laughs> level of skateboarding. Kick flip backside lip slide. That front foot looked like it was gonna not come on there, but it did. And then there's that nollie 180 nose grind, just squeaks it around at the end. Crowd was loving that line. So a 9.0 is the score to beat for first right now before we move into the single trick section. And there, there you go, go. 9.1, he does it. That's a 9.1 for Nigel Houston. Wow, yeah. Getting some love there from the homies. There's that fakey 5 0. And then there's that switch heel flip up the step up, setting the ball rolling. Nigel Houston on deck, coming off a fall on that fakey front blunt. Oh, wow. Now that is a Nigel Houston trick. That is a beautiful trick. That's one of the most awkward, dangerous, just everything is done blind. Yeah. And you're going down the biggest obstacle on the whole course. Take another Coming look. in fakey, front side half cab. It's a blunt. Coming back fakey. That is something else right there. For you viewers watching it. You see that live in all its glory. Wow. So he needs an 8.7 for fifth, but that's only because he doesn't have a third score up yet. Once he does, after this, you know, things could change. He's setting himself up because he had the 9.1, then he had the fall, and now this. 8.9. There you go. Almost in that nine club, but man, that was heavy. And the podium is set. Nike Houston is the winner here in Lake Havasu. Back on top. Pretty much where he belongs, Jeff. Oh, pole position always. What's this? Yeah. Switch heel flip 5 -oh, strictly for the crowd and for the love of the game. I think he was smiling all the way through that try right there. Oh, he's heading towards the crowd. Oh, so awesome. Good to see, you, man. Much love from the local Lake Havasu skate community and probably a lot from the, around the surrounding areas of Arizona. Thank you for coming out. Nigel Houston, our winner and our champ today. So again, we will have our podium yep. Making up for what happened in Salt Lake City, where Nigel killed it, but placed second. You mess with the best, the best don't mess. <laughs> Let's take another look. This is just, just what, you know, for the fun.
Oh. Maybe Switch missed the grind Manny. a little bit. Yeah. Switch heel, Manny. Down the hubba. What a day of skateboarding. There's your winner, Nigel Houston. Six-time world champion going back to 2010. He's, he's a winner. And, uh, he's not looking like he's slowing down. No. He's looking like he's getting better right now. Mm -hmm. That's what I see. I see it. I, f I feel sorry for everybody else that has to compete against him in the next event. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about Deshaun Jordan in second place. I mean, he absolutely smashed it. Well, we knew he had it in there, right, to pull out those moves and tricks, but it comes down to every single one of them. Every single one of them has got to be to the best of your ability. You ain't going to win.